wonderful house music or whatever the hell they call it uh, pounding in the background. Yeah, the, the, the good thing about the house music is behind that really is boobs. Oh yes, well yes, there's quite a bit. <laughs> right we, we just you walked out through the things out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weigh things out. Um, uh, Tim is uh, out with uh, Bondi again. And uh, he's going to show us his ultra efficient uh, SC48 rig. So, Jim, uh, show us what you got. This is pretty cool stuff, by the yeah, way. So, it's, uh, I took an SC48. Uh, I was out going out with the uh, actually playing with teams a little earlier this year, and I, I had an SC48. When I put my case together, I was trying to think of something to do that was efficient. Not about, I mean, it's nice that it's cool, but it was about being more about efficient. Sometimes you run into places, you don't have room for racks, you don't have rooms for setup, or you don't have time. Uh, so, I, when I, you know, the cost of buying a case from R&R &R or something like that, or doing something that you have a good Janelle case or something like that. Um, I said, hey, why not build it myself? And so I did, and this is what I ended up with. So basically, I, I took a case, uh, uh, I had an aluminum manufacturer up in my area, build me a frame, uh, three quarter by three quarter uh, aluminum box tubing and uh, some 3 16 flat stock. And uh, inside the case, I shock mounted, it doesn't look like shock mounted, but it actually is. Um, I shock mounted a SSCDR1 burner, uh, a lake contour, a drawer, and a uh, standard keyboard stuff. Uh, typical, you know, the motion tablet and all the extra crap that goes with it. Um, and then um, over my uh, my foam duressa console on top of the plywood, I, I had to, uh, I didn't want to, actually it was because I didn't want to look at the ugly front of a, a piece of foam. I put some inch and a half uh, aluminum channel in there and through it I built a patch bay. Um, put my comm in here. Uh, one of the tap tempos out of the back of the SC48. My line ins for an iPod. Uh, talk back, a couple Edison's headphone hanger. Uh, and then the remote for the task cam and a mic clip hanger. Also used a LED tape light across the front here um, for the dimmer. Lasts forever, costs less than a little light. And um, at the end of the day, I, I roll in, I tip the console over, turn it on, and I get everything in the time it takes to set up a standard console. Awesome. Uh, the back of it, there's a, a Cyber Power 1350 UPS in there. Uh, Rapco built me a panel that has uh, all of the analog ins and outs of the burners and the, and the lake in there. Uh, and then there's a cooler guys fan in the fan panel on the other side with four three and a half inch fans that blow out the backside with a thermostat in there. So when the doghouse gets hot, because everyone that's got one of these consoles knows how hot they get. Um, when the, the console the case gets over 95 in the back, it just sucks the air around the lake to the front. And, uh, and, and then, and, and the uh, mic stand holder on the side here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's beyond so, cool. That's so, it. so actually, on the side of the case here, there's, you'll see a little gray tube right there. Um, oh, here it is. Let's see if we can find that thing. I'm using this for monitors of Blondie right now, so this, some of this stuff's not set up. But there's a, I put a hole in the case here when I built it, and if I can get in here, take some shit out of here. Basically, uh, my antennas aren't on it, and, uh, as I dig. Basically, I put the, the cases together, so I have a, I've got two 7 dB gain antennas that go on here. They're actually in the drawer right there. I put this in here. I've got a 500 milliwatt booster and a Linksys WRT320 in the back here. Wireless network set up that'll, uh, when I show up, I just plug it in, turn it on, and everything works. And it's, uh, it's, like I said, it takes me as long to set this thing up as it does, you know, to set up a stock SC48 at the end of the day. Very awesome. Hey, Jim, thanks, and uh, we're out.